Hello and welcome to this uh, new series of videos about SQL. SQL stands for Structured Query Language, which is a language used for inserting, updating, deleting and retrieving data from relational databases. It is supported and used by all major relational database management systems including Oracle from Oracle Corporation, DB2 from IBM, SQL Server from Microsoft, MySQL which is an open source uh, RDBMS relational database management system and Sybase from Sybase. Now we have used quite a few words that might be confusing for those who are new to this subject but it is very important to understand these concepts before we start learning SQL. SQL deals with three things data, databases and relational database management systems. So first of all data. Now try and find a meaning of data in a few dictionaries and you might find several definitions as the word data can be subjective. Data can mean a different thing for a telecommunication engineer as compared to a scientist who is conducting a research on certain diseases. The perception can be different among people about the definition of data. Data simply means information or record of information. It is a collection of facts and figures that can be processed to generate useful information. Some people define data as information that has been organized or categorized for a predetermined purpose or intention or function. Data is the most important asset of medium to large size organizations nowadays uh, and these organizations organizations use data not only to generate revenues but also to effectively manage their businesses and to make uh, their business decisions. They need this information to remain competitive and to find new ways to make uh, revenues, generate revenues. Data can be found in two different forms. One is physical and one is logical. Uh, physical form would be a telephone diary which you can keep in your pocket and logical form if you had the same phone numbers stored in a spread sheet on a computer next thing for us to understand is databases whether you know it or not humans have been using data and databases for centuries a good example of a database will be a box or a file where you keep all your bills. The box or if or the file in this example is a database and bills are data. Bills are physical forms of data whether in physical form or logical form a database means simply a container that holds data. So a computer holds data in a binary format combination of zeros and ones so these zeros and ones are representing data uh, and these files are just like databases that have physical data stored within them a database is a complex computer program that holds data in logical form. Data stored in such databases can be quickly and easily retrieved despite of the huge quantity of data. Data can also be easily modified and utilized to make business decisions or to perform day-to-day -day businesses of an institution. Medium to small size businesses cannot be effectively or competitively run without the use of databases nowadays. Now the next thing is uh, a structured query language and during the meantime we will also learn what are relational database management systems. The databases are uh, traditionally represented by these uh, cylinder uh, 
shape structures. So back to structured query language. These cylindrical structures are databases and these things are representing physical data which uh, has been converted into logical forms or digital form and is stored into databases. Now once you have a database you need to be able to communicate with the database so you can retrieve, insert, modify or delete data from a database. Fortunately a structured query language is an industry standard language available that communicate with most relational databases available today. This gives an immense uh, importance to SQL as once you know SQL you have countless avenues of career opportunities ahead of you. It means you can work with most databases and with their vendors. Well if you're a programmer and regardless of what programming language you're using or you have learned you have to know basic understanding of SQL as uh, most of the the complex programs use databases and the data needs to be stored or retrieved or modified or queried. The SQL was originally developed by IBM in 1970s uh, after 1970 and the first name that was given to it was Structured English Query Language or SQL S -E -Q -U -E -L. It is still pronounced SQL but nowadays the use of word SQL is controversial. SQL is a query language, it's not a programming language although it is called query language, structured query language but the strength goes well beyond queries. It is composed of three components data definition language which would allow you to create database objects uh, means tables. We will learn what are database objects in uh, next videos. So a data definition language would allow you to even create databases in a relational database management system. It would allow to create database objects such as tables. Data manipulation language is the second component DML of uh, SQL. With the help of DML you can query, insert, you can manipulate data. DML means data manipulation language. You can insert, update and delete data. And the third component is a DCL, data control language, which is used to allow or, uh, or give a certain level of access to users. So once again to summarize, we have a computer, in our example a, a database server. So this computer has uh, one or more data storing device or devices one or more data storing devices for example hard disk these hard disk uh, have uh, operating systems as well as a computer program that is known as relational database management systems this relational database management system allows you to create databases the containers that can hold data and then you create database objects in a database where you store your data. Now you need to uh, communicate to relational database management system or databases or data itself. You need to know SQL. Thank you very much.